Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I am the Pontiff of Japanese Whiskey, Mr. Mark Antimate, your Tokyo Godfather here. And I'm so glad that this box is so tall that you can actually see the label with it sitting on my desk inside of this video because usually my videos look something like this and I'm always having to hold this thing up to the camera just so that you guys can see it but McKellen the McKellen makes these boxes so nice and tall and put the label up so high this is the first time I can just sit it here and you guys can actually see this damn thing so very happy to present this episode to you today this would be my first time having this specific whiskey I've had many McKellen 12s because they have so many different variants of McKellen 12s but this is my first time having this one right here. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank my boss, uh, my boss from Hawaii. I don't like to talk much about my job or what it is that I do, but I am a sales manager for a company in Hawaii. And the owner of this company that I work for had gifted me this bottle of the McKellen for my birthday, January 4th, 2023. And uh, this thing must have cost him a pretty penny. I'm estimating in Japanese yen, maybe he paid about 17,000 yen or so for this. That's probably like about 150 USD. Of course, inside of America, I'm not sure what the American prices are for uh, scotch whiskey. But in Japan, this is about roughly 17,000 yen, give or take. Could be a little bit more, a little bit less. This one is the McKellen Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 12 years old, Sherry Oak Cask. I've had different casks, and they've been, you know, in double barrels and triple barrels before. But this is the first time that I've had one coming from a single barrel and coming from Sherry Oak Cask, from a Sherry Oak Cask. It says matured exclusively in hand-picked sherry season oak cask from Juarez, Spain for the richness and complexity. What to expect from this? Rich spice, dried fruits. This is natural color. There is no caramel coloring added to this whiskey for color consistency. This is going to have a 12-year-old aged color to it and it says distilled and bottled by the McKellen Distilleries Limited all right there's a lot of writing on the back here and I would like to read that to you guys just to let you know what you're diving into it says the McKellen Sherry Oak 12 years old reveals the unrivaled commitment to the mastery of wood and spirit for which the McKellen has been known since it was established in 1824. It is an expression of our endearing desire to go beyond ordinary, to seek out the extraordinary, and create peerless single malts. Our reputation for the extraordinary is characterized by the exceptional oak cask for which the McKellen is renowned. Sourced, crafted, toasted, and seasoned, under the watchful eye of the McKellen, master of wood, the hand-picked casts are delivered to the demanding specifications of the McKellen master distiller. Once filled, the maturing spirit remains undisturbed in the same cast for a full 12 years. It is the oak that makes the greatest contribution to the quality natural color and distinctive aromas and flavors at the heart of this single malt whiskey. When matured exclusively in Oloroso Sherry seasoned oak cast from Juarez, Spain, our rich, fruity, and full-bodied new make spirit is transformed 
into a classic single malt. The sherry seasoned oak cast delivers a rich and complex single malt characterized by spice and dried fruit flavors of the McKellen sherry oak, 12 years old. Now they got their tasting notes on here, but before we go ahead and get to that, let's open this thing up. Let's pull this out of there. Ooh, that's a beautiful bottle there. Look at that nice shape to it. It got this the nice diamond on there that says 12 years old. This nice indentation there. Look at that. Gold top. And it has, uh, what do you call this thing? A seal of quality? I guess that's what you call it. A seal of quality. So you have this foil here that when you turn it or look at it inside of a certain type of light it's going to have the words uh mckellen show up and it looks like what is that building there it looks like uh i guess the estate of the mckellen is there the same thing that is here on the top of the bottle is going to show up down there and you got a nice little QR code there. I might have to scan that QR code later. I'd like to see where that goes. In fact, let me just go ahead and do that now. Because why not? If there's any time that I'm ever going to scan it, it might as well be now. All right, that's very cool. It just kind of authenticated my bottle really quickly. I'm very happy about that. Let's go ahead and crack this seal. Man, I hate to break this thing, but I guess it needs to be done. In fact, how do you open it? I'm just going to go ahead and just peel it. It's probably not the correct way to do it, but it's the way that I'm going to do it. So I'm going to peel that down. And let me just go ahead and see if I can... Wow, I never thought I would have such a hard time opening this. Maybe this is cork inside of there I'm believing that this is gonna be cork yep when it didn't open like a screw top has to be cork so the cork is looking pretty nice on that here goes my brand new Glen Kern glass a new one a second one that I bought never used before in case I have to do flights inside of my own apartment I just needed more glasses than the one that I had Let's put the lid back on that one. McKellen is probably my favorite single malt scotch. Ooh, this is a little bit spicy. Coming from the uh, the wine cask. Mmm. Coming from a uh, sherry cask, this one has a very sharp nose to it. It has little remnants of wine inside of there, like a sharp, sharp kind of uh, aroma to it. Highly looking forward to it. Let's let this one sit for just a moment. And let me go around and make sure that there's uh, nothing else that I missed. There's something else at the bottom of this box. And also you have the Whiskey Maker's tasting notes. They say the color is rich gold. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I would kind of say yes to that. The aroma, complex with hints of vanilla, dried fruits, and ginger. The palate, smooth, medium balance with fruit, oak, and spice. The finish, long with sweet dried fruits, oak, and spice. And it says the McKellen's Six Pillars. The six pillars are the unique elements that combine to make the McKellen so special. From our spiritual home in Speyside, our curiously small stills distill the finest cut before maturation in exceptional oak cask. These casks deliver the natural color, aromas, and flavors of our peerless spirit. Discover more at www.themckellen.com. And it has my quote on here. Please enjoy responsibly. You guys know I always finish my videos off by saying that. Let's go ahead and put that one here. The ABV. Very light. Easy to get into. 
This is 40% alcohol by volume 80 proof. I don't think we need to add any water to this at all, although I'm still going to because I still would like to open it up even more. Let's just swish this around like so. Blow those fumes off of there. Has a very light aroma to it. I'm conducting this uh, review the very same day that I reviewed the Taketsuru 17 Pure Malt. And this one definitely smells a lot lighter and richer in sweetness and vanilla than that one did, definitely. Not as if they can really be compared. I mean, it's two different things. You got a blended uh, pure malt with the Taketsuru that kind of has a taste of Scotland on one hand, melding with the taste of Japan in the other. And it's just a fusion, making something totally new. This is all space side right here. Very sweet. Sweet and pure and soft. And just rich vanilla. The taste. Mmm. Mmm. This is a lot lighter than the whiskey that I had previously to this one. The taste is also rich vanilla. The fruits that you get inside of there, they're coming up. Apricot, pear, maybe you could say some green apple. Very nice, very nice and fruity, vanillic, and let's let's try for that finish one last time. Mm. Had to chew it a little bit. Goes down nice and smooth. Leaves a nice taste lingering inside the throat there. Not toffee, but kind of leaning towards a light milk chocolate type flavor with a little bit of uh, cocoa spice to it and moments seconds after you had swallowed then starts to come up those same fruits that you had on the palate being the uh, the apricot and the pear it's there yeah this one just kind of lingers with me and it just sits there. Wow. I know this is not supposed to be a comparison video. It was never intended to be one. But seeing as I shot this review of this McKellen 12-year sherry oak cask back-to-back -back with, the, with the Taketsuru Pure Malt 17 years, I know they're two distinctive different things, but I just have to say, if I had to pick one over the other... I'm definitely ling lingering more towards the McKellen side of things because this is too this is too mellow to to put down in any sort of way. There's no harshness there. There's nothing that you can just really criticize and say this is yeah, this is no good. This is uh McKellen plays it very safe and they play it very straight. They know what they're making and they make it well. This is just, it's exceptional. It's exceptional. Uh, not a bad part to it. And while we got just a hair of a little bit of whatever left inside of there, that's probably only like 5 to 10 milliliters. Let me just pour just less than a teaspoon of water inside of there just to kind of get this up and going. See if I can mellow this out even more than what it already is. I like something smooth that I can just relax and sip on. Don't have to think about it much, put much thought into it. All of the notes are just right there and up front. It's not a complex drink at all. There's nothing hidden inside of there that you really have to reach down for. It's just something that you, you get it right away when you 
Mmm. A little bit of that wine aroma to it. Let's go ahead and have this have this final sip of this dram. It plays it safe. It could have went for it even more, but it's good as it is, but could have been better, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Now, let me go on the internet and look for the ones that I had before. I'll tell you what I had before because they have so many 12s. It's hard to say for sure. All right. So, this was years ago that I had this. So, not like I can really do a side by side comparison to tell you which is better. But based off of memory from like four to five years ago, probably more or less five years ago, I had the McKellen 12 years old double cask and I had the McKellen 12 years old triple cask matured. So I had two different versions. I love those tremendously. This is all going based off of memory. I would say that maybe the double cask and the triple cask matured were, they left a more lasting impression on me than the sherry oak cask. Not saying that in a way like I'm putting this down or I'm saying that this is not good and you shouldn't have it. Try all the McKellens that you can if you have the opportunity to. It's just I'm saying maybe the double cask was my favorite followed by the triple and then the single oak sherry oak cask. But all of them is good. They're all worth a try. And you think, you know, you think more or less that each one of these three 12 years old McKellens are going to taste the same, but actually they don't. It warrants you to go out and buy them and to try them and you will be pleasantly surprised in finding out that all of them are unique. So there's that. All in all, this is a very good whiskey. I'm giving it, I'm giving it a pass. Make sure you give this one a try. Let me see if I can find the price on this one. I'm mostly speaking to my American brethren out there. But I guess to the UK fam as well. To my UK fam, this one costs exactly 75 British pounds. Or I guess you could say 75 squid. And let's see inside the United States. The McKellen 12 years old Sherry Oak price. Because I want to give you guys... The best price possible. This one costs 96 USD for 750 milliliters. All right, gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out inside the world. If you guys are drinking, make sure that you drink responsibly. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy. I'm out.